Hello. Today I will give you a quick review of Stereo Pi, a stereoscopic digital camera board based on the Raspberry Pi. It's intended primarily for those who want to learn about computer vision and for drone and robot developers who want to live stream stereoscopic video or use computer vision for collision avoidance. As you may know, the classic Raspberry Pi board comes in several form factors. A full-size edition, like the Raspberry Pi 3rd generation, the mid-size Raspberry Pi A+, and a tiny Raspberry Pi Zero. All of them are ready to use out of the box. Insert a microSD card loaded with Raspbian, connect power, and you are ready to go. However, all of them only work with a single camera, in spite of the fact that all Raspberry Broadcom CPUs supports two cameras as they were designed for the mobile phone market. The Raspberry Foundation also produces industrial versions of their microcomputer, the so-called SOM modules. They are not ready to work out of the box. It needs a carrier board to function, like this is Pi Compute Development Board from Raspberry Pi Foundation. Interestingly, this compute model has pins for connecting two cameras simultaneously. That encouraged us to develop a stereo Pi carrier board which lets you connect and work with two cameras simultaneously. Stereo mode camera has been supported in Raspbian since 2014, the year of the compute model was introduced. With Stereo Pi, you just insert the compute model into the carrier board, connect the cameras, plug a microSD card with Raspbian into a microSD slot and you are ready to go. Stereo Pi can work with original camera models. Here, for example, are first and second generations of Pi cameras. This one is a long focus camera from WaveShare, which also has wide angle modifications with 160 degree field of view. If you are a computer vision beginner, the Stereo Pi has all you need to get a comfortable start. Use big connectors for keyboard and mouse, HDMI for a monitor, Ethernet for internet access, and of course a microSD slot for the Raspbian operating system. Advanced users can use the classic Raspberry Pi GPIOs for connecting additional equipment. We also added a micro USB connector for uploading firmware to compute models with onboard eMMC memory. And we added a third USB connector on pins for connecting non-standard dongles. If you are a drone or robot developer, we also make a slim addition without full-sized USB and Ethernet connectors. And with no GPIO head soldered on. This saves space and makes for a more compact solution to embed in your drone or robot. So, with the Stereo Pi carrier board, compute model and two cameras, you can build an intelligent stereo camera. It will not only capture and stream stereo video, but also work with computer vision in real time. We are now preparing for crowdfunding and batch production.